The life cycle of Leishmania, here represented by Leishmania amazonensis, in the human host. The life cycle begins with a female sand fly insect, which is infected with Leishmania, binding a human host. Following the ingestion of blood, the metacyclic promastigotes are released and enter the host through the bite site by regurgitation. Observe that the parasite reaches the mammalian skin and subsequently invades different cell types that it encounters, such as neutrophils that are rapidly recruited to the bite site, dendritic cells, fibroblasts, and mainly the macrophages. In this example, the attachment of the promastigote form of the parasite to the macrophage surface is observed. The process of internalization via phagocytosis begins with the formation of pseudopods. During and after the internalization of the parasite, the parasitophorous vacuole assembles. In the vacuole, the promastigote transforms into an amastigote. Following the transformation, host cell lysosomes migrate and fuse with the parasitophorous vacuole. The lysosomal content is released in the vacuole. However, the parasite is not altered. Note that most amastigotes become attached to the membrane of the vacuole by their posterior portion, and the amastigote begins to divide multiple times. Observe how many amastigotes are accumulating due to the division process. The parasitophorous vacuole can occupy the entire cytoplasm of the host cell and culminates with their bursting out of the cell. The amastigote reached the extracellular space and subsequently appeared inside monocyte or free in the bloodstream. Thus, they may be sucked by another female sand flying during blood meal or invade new macrophages. Now observe in this example the attachment of the Leishmania amastigote form to a new macrophage surface. Note that the parasite is internalized via phagocytosis with the formation of pseudopods. During and after the internalization of the parasite, the parasitophorous vacuole assembles. Observe that the host cell lysosomes migrate and fuse with the parasitophorous vacuole. The lysosomal content is released into the vacuole However, the parasite is not altered. Note that most amastigotes become attached to the membrane of the vacuole by their posterior portion, and the amastigote begins to divide multiple times. Observe how many amastigotes are accumulating due to the division process. The parasitophorous vacuole can occupy the entire cytoplasm of the host cell and culminates with their bursting out of the cell, releasing the amastigotes. Thus, they may be sucked into a new female sandfly during blood meal or invade new macrophages.